and we got a 2003 Chevy Impala and uh, this thing's a little rusted out got some body rust and everything and uh, I'm fixing up a head gasket I realized I had a uh, split brake line and in the process of bleeding that and repairing it I uh, somehow managed to acquire a stuck brake fluid reservoir float so we've got this sensor back here that must have a magnetic float in it that this sensor right here picks up and uh, so I've got a two brake lights here I got one on one on the left you can probably see that and another one on the dash that flashes low brake fluid There it goes. So, uh, and reading around on forums, it appears that these relatively cheap magnetic sensors are pretty, pretty problematic, can go out, but there's a quick and easy way to test these. You pull it out by pushing the two prongs here from the other side with a little screwdriver or, or uh, some snips or something and then if I go over here my brake lights out both of those are off no more flashing but in my case simply replacing that sensor won't make it go away because apparently my float is stuck and what I realized when I siphoned out my brake fluid reservoir is I don't know if you can easily see this I just siphon this thing out with just a piece of hose and in the back towards the front bumper there's another little div divider there in the brake fluid reservoir and I'm gonna try to blow it out with some bubbles and agitate it and knocking around didn't do anything but uh by sticking a tube in there I'm hoping that does the trick when I fill this sucker up so we're gonna give this a try well I'm happy to report that appears to have done the trick so I stuck my my vacuum hose in that back portion of the reservoir I showed you forward section depending on where how you want to look at it and uh, filled it up tapped around on it some more which I'd done plenty of while blowing in that forward section where that float is and uh, my light went off so that sensor I put back and now my brake brake lights are off so that is terrific and simply replacing that sensor like many of the forums suggest would not have done the trick my sensor was just fine and dandy so uh yeah, just to recap, this reservoir is divided basically right at the corner of the reservoir here, right above the sensor. And uh, if you can put a, you can't really reach it with the screwdriver and with the vans in particular, Montana Venture and everything, like my wife's van, your firewall stops about here anyway, so you can't hardly get to this stupid thing. But uh, if you can just snake a vacuum hose, it helps to be able to see what you're doing if you, if you uh, get some of that fluid out. And what I did was I just put a, held a pop can down here and got a siphon and tried not to swallow too much of that nasty brake fluid. Also, uh, kind of be careful, especially if the vehicle's warm, because those heater, heater core hoses do get hot. You can burn yourself and the exhaust is down there too. But uh, I just saved myself a whole bunch of hassle, especially on this rusted vehicle. Because you can see the one brake line I replaced there. But the others are uh, not too far behind. So I really did not want to be driving around with that sensor not plugged in and working. That makes me feel a lot better. Hope this helps somebody out.